Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth! I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Turn to Tuesday, and we continue our Ginter Geek Out with two value packs of the five gold parallel variety. Uh, in the dugout today, we're just going to continue on uh, enjoying the Ginter. So we got the Sewer Drain Glow in the Dark and the Big Dansby Swanson hit. Of course, uh, he had a great play at third to double somebody off yesterday. So kudos to Dansby for showing off the uh, the defense. Uh, okay, let's just get right into it. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clary Goldberg Scholarship. See cards you like, they can be yours. Hello, RBG. Lucky Cup, you delivered... Was so excited to see that. Let's see if we can do it again. You know that people were excited. We actually got uh, a good number of views on that episode yesterday, which is a lot of fun. I hope uh, folks check the odds. I did post the odds in the description yesterday. The the glow in the darks are one in ten packs, so not as rare as I had anticipated. Um, which is great, because I'd like to try to put the whole set together if I could. Uh, I don't know how many there are. I'm going to guess maybe like 6 to 10. Um, but I just think they'd be cool. And if I am able to do that, I will like do an episode where I display. We'll get them nice and glowing and everything. It'll be sweet. I also have six home run challenge cards going today. So uh, put the good vibes out there, people, for just a, a heavy home run day in the league. Uh, see if I can't win a couple. I wonder if this Jackie Robinson will be a short print because I did notice the Thurman Munson is a short print. Nope, not a short print, but number 42. Pretty cool. Ooh, Ozzy Ozzy Albies. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. Back, playing really well. Always a fan of Albies. Uh, now these I read were 1 in 50 packs. Um, I was really surprised by that. I was checking, uh, you know, when I was checking the, the odds before and I was looking at them and I was just really surprised and I'm, I'll check again in case I'm wrong, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are like one in 50 packs. They are tough pulls. Oddly. They should, really shouldn't be. I don't know why they would be more uh, of a difficult pull than other ones. The, and the other ones that are really tough uh, are the nine ways to first base, which I'd like to pull some of those. Yeah, I just looked at the back there. Oh, wait, this is Reach for the Sky, so I wonder if that's a little bit different. Um, reach for the Sky, one in six. Okay, so the Booming Metropolis is the one in 50. I guess I haven't seen one of those yet. I did think that was awful weird to have the odds be so high for a, kind of a base insert card. No, don't you know? Sparky Anderson. Behemoths Beneath. The Great Bambino. All right, so we're not off to a, a great start, but uh, Lucky Cup, don't be, don't be shy. Give the people what they want. There's Dansby again. Anything in there? No, it doesn't look like any hits. Maybe we'll get a good goal. The Scooter. Ooh, we got... Ooh, we, maybe that's a relic, I think. No, it's not a relic. I thought that was, was weird. But to scoot it, it is... Let's see. Nice Raffy Devers. Jordan. A debut to remember. Very interesting subset. Ooh, another short print. 308. Very cool. Yeah, I had so many. Also very nice. Nice Warren Spawn there. Super cool. I had, I think, four Jordan Alvarez home run challenge cards, and he basically played one game, and that was it, and I didn't get to use a single one of them, which was a bummer. All right, let's check our golds here. I always am a fan of the gold minis. Let's see if we can't get lucky with something really nice. Oh, yeah, Larry Doby. You know, I started working on a little mini PC of Larry Doby. Broke the color barrier in the AL. If you haven't gone back and watched that special episode where I picked up my first vintage Larry Doby, check that out because it's a really nice vintage. Ooh, more Ozzy Albies. Pretty sure. I, don't, I guess all the golds would be, yeah, they're all base. Any short prints? None of them even short prints. But we got a nice little run of Albies going here. Take that. 
Big fan. All right, let's get into this one. I haven't ventured out to see if I can get any more. I'm trying to be good and not get, you know, the addiction is real. Uh, and so I don't want to go out and just hunt. Ooh. That looks a little boxy and thick. And hunt more blasters because I got the, the Dansby auto. Uh, but I'm so tempted. All right, let's see. So this side doesn't look as thick. Let's go... Ooh, and it's backwards. I don't think the other ones were like that, were they? All right, let's let's put it last and see if we can get lucky here. For the people, Lucky Cup. Do it for the people. Big hurt. Oh, Trammel. Another one of those debuts. Joey Gallo. Is this another short print? I was like, if they're all Yankee short prints, that would be pretty interesting. Joey Gallo, really, I mean, I wish he was better right now. hes I don't know if he's still hitting like 100-something, but yeah, hasn't been good. A-Rod action. So his contract is up with ESPN. What do you at home think? Is he going to, or is ESPN going to re-sign him? I imagine he would re-sign, but if I was ESPN, I honestly probably would not re-sign him. I would try to find somebody else. Ooh, that'd be a good TTM candidate right there. Ooh, and my first crack the code, Mauricio Dubon. Mike Clevenger, now a Padre. I was talking with a few other people, and I said, boy, he, know, he must sleep like a baby after he pitches. He moves around so much. He is so herky-jerky on the mound. He just expels so much energy when he pitches. He must sleep like a baby on pitching days. So the crack the code, as I recall, was rather difficult. I'm not going to try to do it, um, but win special 2020 Allen & Ginter Code Breaker autograph cards. So I guess you got to follow the Code Master on Twitter and maybe get something cool. It doesn't feel heavy, so I'm guessing not a hit. Yeah, nothing looks extra thick in there. Oh, well. We were a little spoiled by uh, by the uh, the Dansby Auto. And that was, I, I forgot to mention, look at that off cut right there. Cutting right off the end. The back looks good, but that is rather close to the edge. Um, I believe that's my first, the Dansby was my first player autograph. Uh, frame mini auto out of Ginter. I pulled... Stugatz, and I pulled a tennis player. Um, I think those are the only two autos I've ever pulled. The Stugatz was Allen and Ginter X. And so, and the non player autos are actually tougher pulls than the players, which is interesting. All right, nice. Roger Maris. Not a short print. Noma! J.K. Dobbins. I did see that uh, uh, Burrow, Joe Burrow, is in uh, this set, has autos in the set. So that would be cool. I, I saw like a still image somebody pulled it, and they were kind of mad. They were like, I thought this was a baseball product. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think you'd really be too unhappy getting a first overall pick in the NFL, but... Uh, to each their own. Well, there you go. Uh, leave a comment. Not the greatest, but still, you know, for the the Ginter nerds like me, all the little gold minis are awesome. Go right in the binder. Um, you know, some nice cards here. I don't think I'm going to try to build this set or anything. I'm just going to have a little fun with, uh, you know, opening a couple packs of it. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the break. Look forward to reading those. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.